Good morning, everybody! Today, I'm in Philly, and today is a very exciting day because I am seeing One Direction on the road again in Philly tonight. I'm going with my mom because I don't have any friends that like One Direction, and we have two tickets, and I tried really hard to sell the tickets, but I don't know, it didn't happen. There were a couple people who like wanted it and then they didn't, so I am taking my mother. And I had absolutely no idea what to wear, but I figured, you know what, I haven't worn my overalls in, I haven't worn my overalls since I went to Italy, which was the end of June, and it is September 1st right now, so I haven't worn them in so long. In a couple weeks, I won't be able to wear them anymore because it'll be too cold out, so I was like, wear your overalls, and then I just wore this, this shirt. I'm gonna film two videos, I'm gonna film my August favorites, and I'm gonna film a absolutely ginormous haul from the past two months just stuff that I've acquired oh my god I'm looking at my stuff right now there's so much of it so those are both be out by the time you see this so if you missed them you can check the links down below but yeah I'm excited as you might know I am obsessed with candles and I know that a lot of people say that Bath and Body Work three wick candle jars are amazing for brushes and if you watched my haul you would have seen I bought an 18 brush set so I wanted to clean out a candle and my favorite candle of all time ever was winter from Bath and Body Works and I actually kept the jar just so I could smell it to bring back memories and I thought ooh this candle can like live on as my brush holder so I looked it up how to clean it out you actually freeze it and then the wax like comes out easily and then you just clean it out and so I'm gonna use this as my new brush holder, so I'm happy about that. Hello! I haven't done my makeup yet because since I'm going to the concert tonight and it's only 12, the concert starts at like, what, 7 or 8? So then that would be 8 hours in foundation before the concert even starts, so I'm gonna get ready after these dry. But yeah, that's kind of all that's happening, not really much. I just put my contacts in and I'm about to do my makeup, but I'm not gonna make a big deal out of it because if you saw my Taylor Swift vlog, then you would know that that I get incredibly anxious for concerts, like so anxious the day before. I can't do anything. I usually don't eat. I have a stomach ache. It's really annoying that that happens because concerts are supposed to be fun. And don't get me wrong, they are so fun. Leading up to it, it's not excitement. My body takes it as anxiety instead. And I was watching Lily or Superwoman's vlog where she went to the Taylor Swift concert. This is a really weird thing to be inspired by, but I was so inspired that the entire day she did a ton of work and she got a ton of stuff done. And then right before the concert, she literally threw on a tank top and shorts and then she went to the concert and she wasn't worried about how she looked. She was like, you know what, I'm just gonna go, I'm gonna have a good time. And I was like, oh my god, why am I always so worried about how I look on the day of the concert and how this and how that? Why don't I just have fun? Because the truth of the fact of the matter is Harry Styles is not gonna see me. Oh my god, you guys, watching this back, I was so wrong. Like, <laughs> you'll see later in the video, but wow, this is so ironic. Okay, continue. Except last time he waved at me, but besides that, he doesn't care what I'm wearing. He doesn't care what my makeup is, so I'm gonna do my makeup, but I always put so much pressure on myself to like, oh my god, what lip color am I wearing, and what this, and it has to match, and it has to be good, and oh my god. I don't put that much pressure on myself when I do vlogs or when I do videos. I'm not thinking, oh my god, people are watching me, I have to look good. Like, I'm, I'm not wearing makeup right now, I don't care. So why do I put pressure on myself to go to a concert when, like, more people are watching me on this than they are at a concert? I don't know, it's just weird, and I decided that I don't want to do that anymore, so I'm really not thinking about the concert, and I should be listening to One Direction music to get myself pumped, but if I do that, I will literally just get anxious. So I'm gonna do my makeup, I'm gonna film a video, two videos, and then I'm gonna gonna start to get pumped up and probably get anxious, but it's fine. So yes, I will check in with you once I do my makeup. Hello, I'm doing a very thin layer of foundation. Just, just wanted to say that. Okay, bye. I just finished my makeup. I really like how it turned out. I put some jewelry on and now I'm going to film and I'm starting to get the tiniest bit of anxiety because I only have like three hours to do everything I want to do, which is more than enough time, but for some reason in my head it isn't, I'm not going to talk about it because I'm going to get anxious, but I'm just going to do it, and then when it's done, I'm going to eat some food, and then it'll all be good, it's fine, just deep breaths. 
This is me pretending that autumn is a thing, when really it's not really a thing yet. I just filmed my haul. Here is all the stuff. Oh my god. And I filmed my August favorites, and now I'm gonna put on some One Direction music. I should start to get pumped. We're leaving in like two hours, so I have enough time to put all this stuff away and upload my clips to my computer, and then we're gonna go. Here are my new brushes in my container. They kind of flop about because the container is really big. So I wanna get those little beady things to put in here so that these stay up. But, oh my god, they're all so pretty and they all match and they're all so new. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is when anxiety kicks in. See, I have this issue. If I have to be somewhere, at a certain time, the whole entire day is me like counting down the hours and then during the last hour, I feel like I can't do anything. I'm editing the haul that I just filmed. Let's see, it's 4.43 and we're leaving here at 5.30. The concert starts at seven. I almost feel like this last hour, I'm so nervous that I don't wanna do anything but I should also be doing everything. And I have this issue where I get ready way too quickly. Like to get ready today, I want to pack my bag brush my teeth and go to the bathroom. I would brush my teeth right now and just put everything in my bag, but then I would literally be sitting here for 45 minutes just anxious and not knowing what to do. And also I was listening to like three songs by One Direction earlier and I feel like I should be getting pumped right now, but I want to edit instead of just sitting here and rotting and feeling anxious. So I'll just listen to them, I guess, when I start to get ready. Oh, I just hate, oh, I just, you know, just, you know. Okay, so this is my outfit, right? I don't know if I should wear Converse or not Converse, uh, Vans or if I should wear boots. I mean, uh, I don't know. I have no idea. <laughs> we have left the building. We are on our way. Mom, do you want to be in the vlog? Okay. Yay! <laughs> Mom actually wanted to be in the vlog. That should be documented somewhere. <laughs> All right, we're going. Hello, we just parked. There's a whole lot of empty space, which Space, space, which I know by the end will be full. I haven't been out yet outside today. It's so hot. But anyway, I wanted to fill you in on something so that you're not confused later in the vlog. I am meeting up with my friend Caitlin, who has like freaking amazing seats. And the plan is, she just called me. She's gonna give me one of her good seats to sit with her, and I'm gonna uh, switch with her for one of my seats, which is still a really good seat. It's on floor level, but it's not as good as hers. So I'm hoping that that works out. But yes, in case you are curious if that works out that is what is happening and i'm gonna meet up with her and she wants to be in the vlog so that's fun but yeah we're gonna go right now and i'm so excited located on the darien street and the 11th street side of the stadium Guess I was just saying we're so close to the catwalk. Like I know that I'm moving my seat. I don't know if they can hear me. I'm so oh got quiet. I'm so close to the catwalk. Here, wait, let me show you. That is the catwalk of lights, and I mean that's how close we are. And then yeah, so I'm really excited. Okay, this vlog is like semi-confusing, but the next clip is when I switch my seat and I'm with Caitlin and it's my new seat. So that's what's happening. Oh my god, look at our seats. I'm going to cry. They're going to stand right there. This amazing person. Hi. Oh my god. Oh my god. Say hi. Hi. I'm Caitlin. I'm amazing. She amazing. I literally, the whole time we were walking out, I was like, oh my god. Oh my god! I'm, oh my I'm gonna cry. All right. Well, we'll talk to you in a minute. <laughs> so ah! This is your warning. If you are wearing headphones, turn your volume down. The rest of the vlog is about to get really crazy because the concert is about to start. So yes, you have been warned. It gets very loud. <laughs>
you're about to see next is Liam's water bottle that the girl next to me caught. I explain everything after the show is over, so just bear with me if it's a little confusing. <laughs> to see is a two minute clip of Harry Styles just like fooling around and talking but the clip after that is the one of him talking to me so if you're not really interested in what he has to say just skip ahead two minutes and then you'll see when he talks to me to ask why <laughs> he's very tall hello there he's very tall okay one more time I'm gonna ask all the men every single one of them to scream as loud as you can one two Three. Wow. Wow. Sounds like we're going into battle. There's people waiting outside to pick you up. Go, Jesus Christ. Somebody's had a couple of bears. to see is Harry Styles talking to me. I explain everything after the concert ends. This video was not taken by me. Someone on Instagram saw my story and realized they took a video of it and they sent it to me, but yes, that is what is happening. Let's put your hands in the air. That'd be you just got on that. That was an accident. You, you got it. In a, in a <laughs> There's water in that glasses. 
She can't see. She's like, oh, 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 God. Oh, windscreen wipe is going. I got that girl by accident and then he was like, wow, fail, and then I threw it in the corner. Ah! Harry Styles, water, got in my mouth. <laughs> all right, all right, I, no, 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 we no. need to tell wait. you things later, but shh, I'm going to tell them all later. Wait, 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 I want to tell them though. And he noticed me twice, he got mad at me once, and then he waved to me, and then he made eye contact with me and got mad. And it wasn't spit, it was just like... I have my own, I, we, we have story. I have story, I need to, sh there are things there you are, need to know. But let's just say I had a, we both had a conversation with Harry Styles. And, and... And um, I have touched things, Liam has touched, Harry has touched things, I have touched. I threw two water bottles. Excuse me, guys. Anyway, we'll talk to you later, bye. We're just leaving, I said goodbye to Caitlin. Oh my God, I cannot thank her enough ever for those tickets because I just gave her my ticket and she gave me hers oh my god I have so many things to tell you I'm gonna tell you when I get in the car Caitlin was like trying to tell everything at once but yeah oh my god mom hello did you like it I'm gonna insert some pictures right here of how freaking close we were I have pictures of like Harry doing funny things and them singing little things to the song little things and so yeah you will be seeing those right now Basically, our seats were in row 13 from the stage, but we were right next to the catwalk, which you can obviously see from the videos. And we had actually, our seats were better than front row because they didn't hang out at the front row. They hung out right where our seats were, which was so, oh my God. So that bench, I think I showed you on the video, there was a yellow bench that they all like sat out and they sang little things at. Harry was sitting at that bench and I like, I was saying like, I love you. And I swear he was staring at me, just like staring at me and smiling for so long. So that was like how it all began. And then like Liam was smiling and Liam threw his water bottle at the girl in front of me to my right. And she let us hold it. And that was what I was showing you on the video. That was Liam's water bottle that his spit is in. He touched it. <sighs> and so, okay. So then there was a girl behind us who was holding cookies and Harry Styles was right there and um the girl who came with me was like she has food she has food and Harry looked at us and he was like I know she has food I already ate I'm not hungry and Caitlin ha she, we just no, just no. And then um, the girl in front of us to our right had a poster of Niall. And when Niall came over, because they were all around us, like half the concert, they were near our seats. And so we were like, Niall, it's you. And he went, oh yeah, yeah, it's me. And we were like, ah, but okay. Okay, are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? So, everyone, you, oh, oh wait, I forgot to tell you, Harry threw, you know, the water that he always throws, he threw water, and it landed all over me, and it got in Caitlyn's mouth. She has shared her spit with Harry Styles. Sorry, I'm yelling, Mom, I'm really excited. But here's the part that I've been waiting since it happened to tell you guys. This is my, my, literally, my life is complete. I never, ever, ever thought I would ever get noticed by One Direction. Some people are like, OMG, hope I meet my faves. Like, no, I never thought it would be a possibility. I was always just like, you know, they're too famous. They're never going to see you anyway. So, you know, people throw water at Harry because it's the thing to throw water back and forth. So one time when he was right in front of us, he was staying a while. And I was like, now's my chance. I've already, I, I drank like a third of my water bottle, maybe less, and I was like, now is my chance, but I didn't know, like, because here's a water bottle, right, and are you supposed to shake it out or just throw it? So I was like, all right, so here's what I did. I held it like this, and I went like this, and it went all over, so I was in the third seat, it went all over the girl in the first seat, and Harry looked at me, and he goes, he went, what are you doing? She's all wet, and I was like, I'm so sorry, I love you, and he was like, it got on her glasses, and I was like, I'm so sorry, and he was laughing, so I, thinking, what the hell is going on? Harry Styles was talking to me. I threw my water bottle to him and he caught it and he, he was like, are you okay to the girl? And she was like, yeah, I'm fine. And I was like, oh my, and I was like, I'm so sorry. And he was just laughing and I was like, it was meant for you. It was meant for you. And so, yes, I had a conversation with Harry Styles. He was like laughing the entire time. I talked, I talked. I'm sorry. <laughs> I talked to Harry Styles and he caught my water bottle. I touched Liam's water bottle. My face still has the water that Harry threw. Liam like noticed us a bunch. Niall noticed us. Harry though, he noticed us the most. And I don't know if I said this already, but Harry has always been my favorite. He was the, he was the most interactive, right mom? He was, he was my mom. <laughs> he was the most interactive with the crowd and he stayed so much 
right in front of me on that bench. I was by that bench and at one point he was like, scream as loud as you can. And I was holding up a heart and I was like, ah! And I also made a funny face because he, he like looked at me and he started laughing and I was like, oh my God. Someone Snapchatted me because I was posting on Snapchat. Someone Snapchatted me and I just got the Snapchat after the concert and it said, oh my God, your, con your tickets are so good. I hope One Direction notices you. And if I had got that Snapchat like 20 minutes ago, uh, not 20 minutes ago, what? This morning I meant to say, I would have been like, LOL, they're never ever gonna notice me. What are you talking about? Harry's, he knows I exist. He held my water bottle. I held something that he held. Basically guys, the wedding is on March 24th. You're all invited. I would love to see you there and I will see you guys when I get home. I wanted to vlog this because I just remembered when I was talking to Harry, there were two people in front of me, one of the girls who I like threw the water on by accident and I moved to the side, like I turned my head to the side so he could see me and he like put his, here wait, can I turn this on for a second? Yeah. He put his forehead up like this, like listening to what I was saying and like smiling, like he was like really trying to hear what I was saying and like, oh my God, I just remember that, how he was like actually like, like I had a conversation with him, like legit. I'm not okay. Okay, fuck, I'm not, no, not okay. <laughs> I am back home, I posted everything that happened on Instagram and there were like a ton of people who were like, oh my God, I was at the concert. I heard him talking to you. And someone was like, I saw him catch your water bottle. And I was like, oh my God. Like just to know that other people know this happened. Like people were like, I remember that I was there tonight. It's like, I'm actually not crazy. Like that actually did happen. I just, mm, okay, I'm gonna get serious for a second here. I said before, like I never, I don't know, with One Direction, a lot of people are like, oh my god, like, we're gonna get married and I, I just need to meet him. I was never, like, I need to meet my favorite, I, anything, because I know that I would just be disappointed. Like, I was never, they were never gonna know I exist. And so that's when I felt like sometimes, I don't know, it was just hard because, you know, they don't know you exist, but I've talked to him. Oh my god. When I stop talking, my ears are just ringing because it was so loud tonight. Anyway, I am a strong, strong believer in the karma coming around. And I believe that those who do good receive good. Karma has proven itself to me hundreds of times. People have been horribly mean to me or something will happen, usually with other people just being mean to me. And I'll like stick it out and I'll just try to get over it. And then something will happen later on that just shows like you do not need these crappy people. Like you did the right thing and you deserve to be happy. I just, people are like, oh my God, I'm so happy for you. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I have amazing concert luck. Like my mom and I were talking about that a couple weeks ago, but if I think back to all the concerts I've been to, I've been lucky in like almost all the concerts. I just have amazing concert luck. So I just, I, I can't, I keep replaying the conversation that I had with Harry like in my head. It hasn't sunk in yet that like that was Harry Styles that I just talked to and he, okay, I'm gonna stop rambling. You already know what happened. It's just me being flabbergasted. <laughs> If you like this video, give it a thumb. Why would you not? Why would you not give this video? Give this video a thumbs up for Harry Styles. He is amazing and sexy. And all the other boys, obviously, but like, because I talked to him, yeah. So give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe. My vlog playlist is linked down below in case you miss any of my other vlogs. I am probably going to be up for like three hours. I'll probably be up to like three in the morning. Yeah, well, it's 1240. I'll probably be up to like three in the morning. Just like talking to people on Instagram. I'm gonna go though. What, what is my life? All right. I love you guys. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>